welcome back to MDL Crochet. This week's stitch is the bump stitch. Now the bump stitch has endless possibilities. It has decent horizontal give and really great vertical give. This stitch is easy and it's pretty. You can see the ridges. And the back, well the back looks like a pearl stitch. But if you find these tutorials helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. And if you want to chit chat, leave me a comment. We can talk. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into this stitch. All right, guys. As I said, this is the bump stitch. Um, it sounds a lot easier, and is a lot easier. Uh, I did a chain of 20. It does not matter what your chain is. It can be an odd or even number. Um, if you saw my last video, you saw I was having issues with uh, a tension ring. Well, I'm going to try it out this way and see if I can get it to work for me. Because um, I'd like to legitly try it. Um, my spouse, husband, loves it. So, But let's get to the stitch. So we always go from the bumps in the back, but we go from the second chain down. So here's the one, there's two, roll over and you'll find those bumps. Go ahead and pull up your loops in those bumps. And any crocheter, Tunisian or regular crochet, will tell you the foundation rows are the worst rows, worst row to start just because of this slows you down on everything. But I'm going to go ahead and get these my 20 up. Alright, I'm working on that last one now. And let's do a quick count. As I say, you know, it doesn't hurt to count. Everybody should count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, what we're going to do is, is our normal standard return pass. So you chain 1, and you pull through 2. Pull through 2 all the way down the to the end until you have one chain left on your hook. Alright, now we're pulling through the last one now. Now this stitch is literally called the bump stitch. Now this is our foundation row. The bump stitch, you actually you turn your work this way you can see the bumps that you're going through and get that out of the way first one's right here and then you're gonna go through here 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 that's all it is that's all this stitch is so let's go ahead and start pulling up our loops Some of them, once you start get that first one's always going to be the more pain in the butt one. Um, the rest are just going to come with you easy. You're going to have to work at them a little bit like you do when you're working on the foundation row bump. 
but they will come easy because they're easy to see and they're easy to grab and get through. Let's go ahead. There's no specific count, no nothing. So go ahead and pull them up. All you got to do is just make sure you have what you chained. There is no repeats, no nothing. This is a very, very simple stitch. Um, just not a commonly used stitch, uh, but you could use it in a lot of things. All right, we're at the end. So we're at the end. We're just going to do our normal end clo closure. Bring you needle down to the row you just closed, fold over, pull up a loop, ah, pull up a loop, goodness gracious, chain one, and then pull through two, and pull through two all the way down to the end. Alright, so we're back here again, and we're working on those back bumps. Like I said, the first one is always going to be your pain in the rear, um, because it is tighter, and it is a lot harder to see. But you can line it up right, and bump it through, you're golden after that. And you can use this stitch, like I said, in almost anything you want to use it in. If you want to use it in a cardigan, use it in a cardigan. If you want to use it on an afghan, use it on an afghan. Um, a shawl. I think the process of this stitch is a little bit slower. Just because you're having to kind of force your way into these bumps. But I think the product is well, well worth it. And that is it with this stitch. There's nothing, sim uh, nothing else to go on with it. It's just a very simple stitch. You just got to be careful. You gotta make sure you get in these back bumps. As you can see here, here, and here. Those are what you're going after. Okay? So be sure that is what you're going for. Otherwise you're turning it into a top loop and that's gonna start causing some more issues. Because with the top loop you need some offsets going on. All right, we're at the end. So go ahead and drop down, hold your work, poke through, yarn over, pull up a loop, chain one, pull through two all till all the way at till the end. So you only have one loop left on your hook. Do one more row together, and then I'll go off camera, finish a few more and then we can talk about this stitch. And all that happiness. All right, so we're at the beginning again, and you can see the bump. 
how it creates a ridge. See the ridges there really well. And that's what this stitch is, that's why it's called the bump stitch. I keep forgetting I had a ring on. Oh well. I'll get used to it maybe. Alright, so we gotta do the top stitch again. So take your other finger if you can. Move that yarn out of the way. Find that bump, it's right there. See it? And then you're just gonna poke in. Wiggle if you have to. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And pull up the loop. Same here. And you can keep on going. You just pull up these loops and the bump. Got a lot of energy right now. I have no idea where it's coming from. All right. Oh, goodness. There we are. Not that it's sound right. Just watch my needle go into these bumps. All right, we're just about there. We're at. This is the last bump on this row. So go ahead and drop your needle down to the row you just closed, fold your work, grab a loop, pull up, chain one. Now you're going to pull through two till the end. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off camera. I'm going to finish up a few more rows of this. Be right back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I uh, just finished up. Um, I was about to do the closing and then I remembered, oh, I got to film it. So the closing we're going to do in the stitches closing. So I went ahead and went into the back bump on that very first one. You'll go ahead, get in there. Yeah, I know that first one's always a little bit tighter and it has to deal with because it's part of the loop on your hook. But go ahead and pull up a loop and then slip stitch it. And do that all the way down the line. All right, we're just about to our last stitch. And of course we work it the same as we always do for our closer. And then chain one, snip the yarn, pull through. 
And that, my friends, is the Tunisian bump stitch. I'm going to put it this way so you can just see the bumps, those ridges. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And it has good elasticity horizontally. Vertical is really nice. Um, this could make many a great thing. I mean, a lot. I could see the possibilities being almost endless with this. Anyway, folks, that is the bump stitch. And it is a very pretty stitch. But until next time, folks, you can leave me a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And give me a comment. I'll, I'll, I'll chit-chat. Until next time, keep stitching.